So today I'm going to be showing you all one of my favorite games for iOS. This is called Galaxy Reavers. I'm just going to play the intro segment because they have this kind of cool video to present their concept. So pretty much the game just involves battling other spaceships. So you've got like a fleet or multiple fleets of battleships. And uh, what you do is you just fight them. So there's like a pretty kind of vague storyline of just some bad guys in space trying to take over all the planets. You know the story. Same, you know, tale as old as time. Just the same old stuff always happening somewhere far, far away or whatever. Yeah, that giant ship that you just saw is like one of the nicest ships you can get. And this thing right here that they're showing, it's like a massive satellite. Uh, I don't think you can get that. Like you can't buy that, but you can blow one up, so. Anywho, this game is not too complex, and that's why I like it. So, you got these planets, and those are like your levels. So you can play multi the, you know, like the same level more than once and progress through so uh there's not a point in this game where you have to like definitely chuck up some money to get far uh, which is definitely something that i like you don't you know you can achieve everything in this game you can buy all the ships pretty easily you just have to put in a little bit of time and work and you can defeat every level so there's no like farming or anything like that so um Anyhow, so you got uh, different types of ships. You start out with a uh, like a cruiser and a chaser. So those are some of the like common ships. There's these little freighter ones. Uh, but anyhow, you'll see the differences between them when you start using them. Some of them, like the bigger ones, are a little bit slower and like harder to maneuver. But anyhow, so you start out every mission with a story. So like in this one, we're just gonna uh, pick our targets. We got to just destroy these other ships here so what you do is you just kind of swipe and get your targets you can move around and see things pretty easily so at the beginning of the game you get a countdown timer like 30 seconds and so you start off and your ships they have like uh, basic equipment on them okay that you know shoots rockets torpedoes you know just bullets just like basic machine guns and You've also got these special abilities, so you've got like a booster on one, and then I think like a, like a laser beam or some torpedo missile things, yeah. So anyhow, you want to use those, and those have like a cooldown time, and I think during the course of a mission, you can only use them like three times, and over here in like the bottom left-hand corner, you can see that purple bar, and that purple bar designates how much energy you have, and obviously you have to have like some energy to use those abilities and they have to cool down. So you can't just use them constantly. Uh, one really cool uh, ability is the one you just saw right there when you use the beam. That's one of my favorites, but the thing is like, don't use it on the little quick ships that you see flying around here because they are, they will just dodge it. They will just get away from it really easily. So you, these ships do like move by themselves, but you can, you know, lock on to specific targets or just like move. You could just fly these ships in a circle as much as you wanted, you know, no, no problem. You can just fly them all around. Um, you just swipe with your finger. Really easy. The controls on this are like too simple. Uh, that's one thing. The controls in this game were designed really well. So, uh, one good thing is you never run out of ammo. But like I said, you could uh, run out of the abilities. And I would suggest like using the abilities as much as possible. So they, re they really help you get stuff done. Okay, so you get equipment too as time goes on and some equipment is more powerful than others. So when you get new pieces of equipment from beating levels or buying them in the shop, what you'll wanna do is, you know, make sure you're equipping the latest equipment so that your ships are like at the top level of performance, you know? So I think there's like the, uh, there's like really basic stuff that you get all the time. Then there's like green, blue, and purple. And purple is like the highest level of equipment you can get. And, and when I say buy, I mean buy with in-game currency that you can easily earn. You don't have to spend like real dollars or whatever, your rubles or whatever you got um, 
so yeah, um, this level right here is, you know, I'm showing what, uh, I, you know, I played for like a couple hours to get to this level, so some of my ships have, you know, a lot better weapons. I forgot what level this is, but really easy. I've got some like torpedoes, like some, some side firing torpedoes. There it is. There it is. See, like, if you're coming straight at a target and then you shoot that, it'll just fly off sideways into space. So you have to make sure you're, like, locked. Because then your ship will just circle the target and then you can shoot the torpedo. Um, I think I just lost a ship. That sucks. My frigate. Yeah, these little frigates, the, the speedy little ones, those things, they just don't have that much armor. Um, but over time, your ships will level up they'll get stronger and stronger and you'll you know there's a max level i think they can get to but it takes a while to hit that max level um and so you can have three fleets so like your ships take damage right you know obviously so like after we're done with this mission my ships will have some damage and there's like a time it takes to repair and it's usually like i think for if your ship's like completely dead it takes like three minutes maybe to repair the whole ship um, but what you do eventually is you'll get like more and more ships and you can have three fleets which I think is like a total of like 12 ships so um, what I do is just like use a fleet and if that fleet has to repair then I just like go back into play with the other fleet if that makes sense I just kind of switch them out so like you're constantly getting like experience on both your fleets and so none of you you don't want one of your ships to be like level one and the all the rest of it would be like maxed out because you can't take level one ships even with really good equipment into like a really tough level and expect them to do anything you have to like go back to like the first like levels one through ten and then like work your way up through that um but anyhow the graphics on this are pretty cool i definitely like the designs of all the ships and um, everything is just really decent. Okay, so you level up too. I don't understand what that's about. Um, but yeah. If you want to get some more in-game currency, you can just literally watch ads to get that. I'm sure you, you all know how that works because you've probably done it. Everything, every type of game you've ever played. Um, definitely buy weapon packs like as much as possible because those weapon packs, man, they help you out so much. You know, you get some of the expert weapon packs and they're like insanely good. So um, these are all the levels I've completed thus far. You've kind of skipped around and showing you different levels. See, now I've got like a bigger fleet. So I've got a full fleet now. It's like four ships. Um, anywho, make sure you're just updating your equipment constantly because you don't want to have just like a bunch of garbage on your uh, ships. And only certain pieces will have like the abilities, like the cooldown abilities, like your boosters and things like that. So I think you start out and you have like two boosters or propellers or whatever. And you can, you can click on these items and you can see like the stats, like the damage uh, rates. I don't know what the difference between kinetic damage is and like electric damage or whatever the other type of damage is. I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, but yeah, just watch ads for money. Spend the money. Make sure you're on top of that. Make sure that you're, you, you have the best equipment on your ships. Make sure you have your best equipment on your best ships, pretty much. Um, but don't like put all of your best equipment on one ship. You wanna like try to spread it out, you know what I mean? So, cause if you have three really good items or really good pieces of equipment on one ship, then it won't have enough energy to like use all of those, um, all those items. So yeah, you can buy stuff in game. Like you can buy that Corium. Um, they've got like a newbie pack if you want to spend money in game. I don't spend any money in game. I only, I like, I will buy the game, but I never spend any money in game. So I wouldn't really suggest going in here and spending, you know, $4 for a hundred Corium. Cause you don't need that to like beat the game or anything like that. Like I know there's some games, whatever, like just personal opinion, like Clash of Clans. Like I played that and I feel like at a certain point in time, if you don't spend actual like 
money, like actual dollars, that you can't really get ahead and there's a point where you just stall out and that kind of sucks and that does not happen in this game. You can literally just keep playing and be able to buy ships. There's none of these ships that are unattainable. Even that Titan, that big one, uh, it's 500 Corium and you'd have to play like a lot to get that. But I mean, you probably get it in like three or four days. Like if you played a lot, you just would have to keep banging out levels and have multiple fleets. Your fleets would get really good and you get some really good equipment. So, you know, and I think it hold like so much equipment is stupid. Um, and I will warn you, so eventually you'll get like just a ridiculous amount of equipment, like these little white ones, these bottom level um, missiles, you know, whatever, the, the guns, the pieces of equipment, whatever. Um, just like sell those or just get rid of them like they are so hard to like sift through you can sort the equipment but they you just clog it up it's eventually like green equipment will be like trash to you and you'll only be using like blue and purple and you'll be like what do I do with all this stuff so I think you can sell it just click on it and you'll have an option to sell it so here's where your fleet management is Make sure you just have all of your ships in your fleet. So I have like five ships. So I technically have two fleets, but you see what I'm saying. Um, so like with the levels too, like there will be a point in time when you'll reach a level that's like too hard for you to beat. So you'll want to go back like two or three levels back and play that level like multiple times to get your ships more experience and, um, you know, to like level up so that you can come and beat that level that you're at like the next one up like the the hardest one that you're at sometimes that happens that ha actually i'll be honest like that happens pretty frequently where i'll be like man i can't beat this so i have to backtrack and level up my ship some more grab some more equipment or something like that to then be able to beat the newest level that i'm at like you know 16 or 17 right here so that's the uh only thing you have to just do a little bit of backpedaling um really let's see what else so yeah it shows all the levels of your ships in here which is good to keep track of so like when you get to a point where you have like three fleets um maybe you'll you know want to um like you know optimize what your strongest fleet is you know so that you've got your very very best ships on your primary fleet you know the one that you use to push like deep into the levels with um i played this before like a year ago and i'd gotten to like level 50 or something like that so i'd gone like pretty far to be honest um and not that not that long of a time and there's a point in time where you might be like uh you know this game isn't like too complex so at a certain point in time you can pretty much like beat not really beat the game but you'll be like man i've done pretty much everything and you'll be like okay i'm good but that's that's a long ways down the road for me so um i think for most people too so there's different levels so like this level you have to kill like a specific target so this is an enemy transporter so we got to blow that up and then the level is done and you'll see in the top left hand corner you've got a time limit so you've only got like three minutes to take this thing out so you can't really be too worried about the other ships you just need to focus on that main one um so you need to get close to it and just blow it up like asap so uh what i do is usually just focus all my ships on it because that's you don't want to focus on the other ones because then this one will get away so you get the picture there's also these levels that I just like absolutely hate where you have to trick you have to escort a friendly transporter and I just hate those because you have to like manually you, you have to more manually move your ships and I just don't like that I like when they I pretty much just let them pick targets and then make sure they're all on the right target and just focus on their abilities I mean you have to stay active you have to be like looking around you have to be very like aware of what's happening um you can't just like hit start and like win you have to make sure you're you're in control which is one interesting uh part of this game compared to a lot of others but i really like it i'll put a link in the description and uh you guys should definitely check it out